In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying trinomials, or really any polynomial together. We'll find that multiplying trinomials is just like multiplying binomials. We just have to account for more terms. If we have the binomial 3x minus 4 times the trinomial 9x squared plus 12x plus 16, we'll see the same pattern we saw with binomials, where we grab the first term and multiply it by every term in the next polynomial. So we'll start with 3x times 9x squared. 3 times 9 is 27. x times x squared is x cubed, adding the exponents. 3x times 12, 3 times 12 is 36, x times x is x squared. And then 3x times 16, 3 times 16 is 48x. And then we can move on to the second term. The negative 4 now needs to distribute through the next polynomial. Negative 4 times 9x squared is negative 36x squared. Negative 4 times 12x is negative 48x. And finally, negative 4 times 16 is negative 64. It's an extension, really, of the binomials that we saw before. Just keep distributing each term all the way through. Now we just have to look for like terms. We have this 27x cubed, nothing like it. 36x squared is like the negative 36x squared, which is really nice because they subtract out to 0. 48x is like negative 48x, which again is really nice because they subtract out to 0. All that's left is the negative 64. Our polynomials multiply to 27x cubed minus 64. This one's going to be particularly interesting to us in the factoring unit, when all those terms in the middle subtracted out and we were just left with the binomial. But for now, we'll just keep practicing with multiplying by distributing. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have two trinomials multiplied together. Again, we'll have the same pattern, though. We'll take the first term and distribute it all the way through. 2x squared times 4x squared is 8x to the 2 plus 2, fourth power. 2x squared times negative 2x is negative 4x squared cubed. Don't forget, we're adding 1. 2x squared times negative 6 is negative 12x squared. And then we'll move on to the second term, the negative 6. Negative 6 times 4x, negative 6x times 4x is negative 24x to the third power. Negative 6x times negative 2x is positive 12x squared. And negative 6x times negative 6 is positive 36x. Now we have to distribute the 1 through. Multiplying 1 times 4x squared is 4x squared. Multiplying the 1 times the negative 2x is negative 2x. And then finally, I'm out of color, so we'll have to repeat the blue here at the end. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Lots and lots of terms. Just because this problem becomes really big, though, doesn't make it difficult. It's the same pattern repeated over and over again. Take the first term, distribute it through the next polynomial. Take the next term, distribute it through the next polynomial, and keep repeating until we're done. Now all we have to do is combine a lot of like terms. We've got 8x to the 4th, there's nothing like it. Negative 4x cubed is like the negative 24x cubed. That gives us negative 28x cubed. 
the negative 12x squared plus 12x squared plus 4x squared gives us just plus 4x squared. Then there's 36x minus 2x is 34x. And finally, that minus 6 at the end. And we've got our final polynomial by multiplying the trinomials together. 8x to the 4th minus 28x cubed plus 4x squared plus 34x minus 6, which we are able to find by taking each term from the first polynomial and distributing it onto each term in the second polynomial.